Side Scrolling Superheroes, it's Batman, the video game, which I bought for $19.99. It's got the price tag still on this sucker. And this game is driving me nuts. It is absolutely impossible in certain areas. It's made by Sunsoft. It came out in 1990, not too long after the 1989 Batman film on which this game is based. There are some cool little NES style cut sequences that take you into the vibe of the movie. And the structure of the game is loosely based around stuff that happens in the movie. You do, in fact, get to the Joker in the Bell Tower, and you go through Axis Chemical Plant. Of course, you're in the sewers. It's a side-scrolling superhero game. What side-scrolling superhero game doesn't have a sewer level? You gotta have sewers if you're one of these suckers. I didn't have this game when it came out back in the day because I opted for the Genesis Batman cartridge, which I kind of have a love-hate relationship with. I've had that cart since... It originally came out, of course, I'm a massive Bat fan, so I picked it up right away for the Jenny, and I appreciated it, but I found it kind of clunky, and I still do to this day. This game, on the other hand, feels very fluid, and the jumps are super cool in this game. You don't have a lot of mobility. You can duck and avoid some things that are shot at you, which is uh, very useful, uh, but you have the ability to wall jump, which makes a big difference, and the mechanics on the wall jump are actually incredibly commendable, and they're very fun. They make Bat Batman feel a lot more athletic and graceful than I found him in the Genesis version of this game. I also thought that the intricacies of the art style and the animations and the enemy types and stuff, there's some really, really great art in this title that really impresses me still to this day. And it's funny, I was talking with the folks from Yacht Club Games, Sean Velasco, and he brought up Batman, the NES version of Batman, as something that he plays over and over again. And so that really inspired me to finally jump into this cartridge. And man, I am glad I did. I did find this game incredibly tough. I found some of the challenges to be incredibly cheap. You'll find that there's some bad guys that will just bounce over you and then get a little closer to you. And all you've got, especially when you start out the game, is your ability to punch. You actually pick up power-ups as you go in the game, of course. And it's every enemy that you defeat has a little surprise for you. It might be a little heart container to give you a little pellet of health. You might get a little B for bonus. And then, of course, the most useful item that you can pick up is ammunition for the three different weapon types that you have. You have this triple shot gun thing, you've got a spear gun, and you've got the ever-present and incredibly useful batarangs, which actually do this kind of figure eight loop before they come back to you, but you use them up. So you throw them and you don't really get to catch them and use them again. So you're constantly needing to replenish your ammunition. It's very important in this game. There are definitely areas where you need to farm. You'll see regenerating bad guys. You'll sort of walk to the edge of a screen and then come back into frame and then bad guys will come at you and you got to take them down so you can beef up your ammunition before you get to some of the boss fights and some of the, the tougher challenges in this game. You need the ammo and you also need to be incredibly proficient with being able to leap off of an edge and then slide backwards and then do a wall jump onto a platform. There's a lot of that in the game, but thankfully the levels, they can be really cheap and excruciating to get through, but they're not that long. So you can find a little bit of a rhythm and there are definitely moments where you're sweating and cursing. I had to, I had to ask my kid to leave again with this game <laughs> because I was definitely, uh, I was, um, uh, I was swear man playing Batman. I was using every swear I knew while I played this cartridge. Uh, but it is wonderful. I have to say it's probably the strongest or one of for sure the strongest superhero games that's available for the NES. It's never leaving my collection. I'm sorry I took so long to find you Batman on NES. The music is a lot of fun in the game too. It's very upbeat. It's maybe a little bit more rhythmic and catchy than you would maybe associate with Batman. A little more boppy. But it's fun and it's definitely of the era and it just it energizes you and it lifts you up because there are definitely going to be moments while you're playing this game as there were for me where it's like, okay, putting the controller down, walking away. It's, you know, I, I kind of think back to my years auditioning as an actor, like that prepared me for the rejection that I was getting from this game. All the defeats, all of the nope, didn't make it. But Batman on the NES... I love you. I'm, I'm sorry it took me so long to find you and put you into my collection, but I'm very glad that you are here. You're never going to leave. I definitely recommend this treasure. If you have an NES and a penchant for superhero games, don't pass Batman up on the NES. It's awesome. It's very tough, but it's awesome. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10.